Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another grocery haul, as you can see. Um, I did go a little crazy. There's two bags over here and there's two bags, or three bags over there. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything I got from Sprouts. Um, everything in this grocery haul is completely vegan. So if you are running out of ideas for things to buy, I got you. Period. Okay, so I'm going to start with this bag. It's pretty full, but let's get right into it. Some of these things I've obviously already bought before and showed you in my other grocery hauls, but we're going right through it. First things first, I got two Impossible Patties. This is my favorite vegan burger. It tastes so good. And it doesn't make my stomach feel weird after like Beyond Meat. So here we are. This is kind of weird that I would even pick this up, but like I normally do get vegan deli slices, but this is vegan bologna. I don't even think I really liked bologna as a child. I know that after like elementary school i stopped really liking cold cuts i still ate it but i didn't really like it but this i'm gonna have to let y'all know how that goes it doesn't look weird like it looks like regular bologna i know it's gonna freak me out a little but i'll let you know if it's good moving on we have just egg y'all have seen this on my channel before i do prefer the frozen folded patty things but i'm gonna be using this for something else that you'll see in the halls but to be honest with you i don't really know why i got this well i know why but it's like vegan feta this could really be hit or miss um i don't know maybe i'll make like a salad yeah i bought stuff to make a salad so i can make a salad with this if not when I was younger, y'all, like high school, one of my best friends, I would go over to her house and she would make me a chicken pesto sandwich. And it had feta in it, grilled chicken, and pesto. Maybe I can recreate that and make like a vegan version with this. Um, although I don't have the other ingredients, I don't have pesto. I can make pesto if I get the stuff. And I don't have grilled chicken vegan, of, of course, so. But we'll see. I got some oyster mushrooms. I do want to use the just egg um, and flour, which you'll see later on in the video, to batter these and fry them. They'll give off like a mock chicken, a fried chicken. So yep, there's that. Then I got this Little Gems organic lettuce. I normally get butter lettuce, so I don't know why I got this one. But this is pretty good. It's crunchy, it's fresh. Had this before, so I know it's gonna be all right. So this with that feta and Caesar dressing. Do they normally put feta on Caesar dress or on Caesar salads, or is that parm that they put on there? Either way, we're gonna make something work. So this I'm very excited for. I normally get the Kite Hill version of the vegan raviolis, but this is cheaper. It's I think it's like four dollars and some change versus the kite hill ones like eight dollars i think that's way too much for some damn raviolis but this is the roasted vegetable vegan ravioli i believe it's the yeah it's the sprouts brand i bought two of these um i should have seen if there was another flavor in stock but i was very excited to get these simply because the last time i tried to order them they were out of stock so i will let y'all know how this goes i'm thinking about making hummus this week so I wanted to get some crackers to eat them with. No, actually, I'm, I wouldn't eat these crackers with that hummus, but why did I get these? I'll probably figure it out when I look at the rest of the, the stuff that I ordered. But anyway, these look like the Ritz crackers. I don't know if they're gonna taste similar. Um, Sprouts doesn't carry Ritz crackers, so I bought this brand by Late July. I love Late July for their chips so long, so I'm assuming this is gonna be great. If not, I'll let you know. Like I mentioned in my last video, I have switched out my breads to gluten-free bread. And this is by the brand Little Northern Bakehouse. I got the sprouted grain, sprouted seven grain. Can you all see that? Pro tip with vegan bread. If you don't toast it like all the way to crisp, it's literally going to be spongy. So 
I can't tell you this is a 10 out of 10, but it's definitely something you get used to. So, do what you will with that information. So the last item in this bag is some organic bunny fruit snacks by Annie's. I don't really eat candy all that much, but I do like to keep something on hand. So that way, like when I am craving candy, I got it. Cause it's very hard to find vegan candy. And this, my friend, is vegan. And I think I do this all the time. Yep, vegan and gluten-free. Focus. Of course, my fat ass already opened these up and tried them, and I don't like them, so I wouldn't recommend them. But it is the, the daily craving. Oh. Huh? Okay, the brand is called The Daily Crave Beyond Puffs. They are corn free, made from red lentils and black beans, and it's vegan cheddar flavored. Honestly, I think I don't like them because of that red lentils and black beans. I like red lentils and black beans, just not in chip form. It's not given what it's supposed to give. I asked this man to get me bananas, and why would he give me these ripe ass bananas? It's a good thing that I use bananas for smoothies, so I kind of need them to be ripe so I can freeze them, but like disrespectful. Maybe I'll make banana bread, who knows? Just kidding, I won't do that. I decided to get some crinkle cut fries uh, because every once in a while I want to make fries, like frozen fries in some oil, even though I know that's terrible. Um, I normally make regular potatoes, like cut up the potato myself and put them in the air fryer, but Every once in a while, I wanna go the unhealthy route and fry up some fries. And I was feeling a little, little crinkly, so I got these, period. Oh, another thing that I decided to try before showing y'all is this Poppy Classic Cola Prebiotic Soda, okay? I've tried the Olipop, which is similar to this, but I prefer Poppy over Olipop. Um, it's bomb. Honestly, prebiotics for a healthy gut infused with apple cider vinegar and it's an immunity sidekick. I don't really know about how healthy this is, but I like it. It tastes like Coke to me. It tastes like a healthy Coke, but it's like enjoyable, if you know what I mean, you know? It doesn't feel like a knockoff. This next brand, Jack and Annie's, y'all. Okay. I have not tried the savory breakfast jack sausage, but I'm excited to because there's another item that I've been buying from them for the last like month or so, and they're so good. So I'm assuming this is gonna be really bomb. It is jack sausage, so it's made with jackfruits, and it's just vegan, and I know this is gonna be really good. I put y'all on to the Morningstar buffalo wings that are like little nuggets and I swore up and down that those were the best vegan nuggets up until I tried these bad boys. These are so good, like mark my words, if there's anything that you're gonna buy from this grocery haul, please let it be these nuggets. Oh my goodness, they're so freaking good. They're like seasoned, y'all. Like they got flavor, okay? And when you open the box, you automatically smell that they're seasoned and they're just delightful. You need to try this. So this is a fan favorite in my household, my one person household. It's the Gardein Fishless Filets. These are so bomb. I normally make my own tartar sauce and then I put these in the oven or the air fryer and then I put them on toast with lettuce and then some of the tartar sauce and cheese and it's so good oh my goodness y'all vegan food is hitting I know I need I eat a lot of processed vegan things but honestly like I don't even care because this is bomb every time I do groceries I like to buy frozen stuff that is quick and easy that I could throw in the microwave or in the oven for days that I'm feeling like tempted to order food, knowing good and well I have food at home to cook. But these things come in handy. I bought this before. I know it was, it was okay. It wasn't like the best, but it definitely got the job done. And I think that with hot sauce and buffalo sauce, it's gonna smack. So I got these Amy's vegan broccoli and cheese bake. So these are in the microwave or the oven. Um, but again, if I'm trying to eat something quick, I'm gonna throw this right in this microwave and call it a day. 
I've also purchased these two before, but these are the Alpha Pot Pies. They're plant-based pot pies. This is the chicken pesto, and this is the buffalo chicken. So, honestly, it only comes with one in each of these, and that's kind of upsetting because they're like $4 each. That was on sale, so I don't really know. Either way, they're okay. Again, they get the job done. You definitely need to eat them with like ranch or like barbecue sauce for this one. And another one of those quick things you can put in the oven or in the microwave. And of course they're vegan. They look cute. They're not gluten free, but it's all right. So again, I mentioned I am trying to incorporate more gluten free products into my daily lifestyle simply because I think I have a gluten intolerance my stomach be bloated and i took out gluten from my diet for like a week and i did see a difference so anyway um there are some things i'm not willing to cut out my diet but if i can help some days i will so i bought this organic buckwheat flour it's gluten free i mainly bought this because wait can you make pancakes with this i don't know how pancakes are gonna taste with this but i'll give it a try um, but in all reality, for the uh, oyster mushrooms that I'm going to fry up, I need flour for the batter. So I got this bad boy. <laughs> I'll let y'all know if this tastes good for pancakes. Y'all, this next item I'm really excited about because I love, love, love ginger ale. But I got this real life ginger ale and it's supposed to be healthier because it's the all natural real ginger classic taste and nothing artificial like there's not even sugar added into this zero sugar right up at the top and it's the reeds brand oh should i do a live taste test for you yes let's see let's see all right y'all we're gonna get a live taste test it's wet because i rinsed the top as you all should before you drink your canned beverages okay oh this hasn't been refrigerated so this might be a little weird but anyway here goes nothing y'all y'all this is it this is it oh my god honestly i'll give this a nine out of ten the only thing that i don't like is the stevia aftertaste and of course i looked at the ingredients and i saw stevia on it they just love to sneak that in there like we would have been okay without it um, but there's also monk fruit extract, which I know is also a sweetener. So, like, why do y'all need to be doing too much? But these are good. At first sip, it tastes like Schweppes. Did I spin? At first sip, it kind of gives me Schweppes vibes. Not Canada Dry, but Schweppes. So, I would recommend these. Okay? Ooh. Another video, another no nails. But it's alright, because when she comes back... Y'all look at it in my hair, okay? So there's that. Now we're gonna move on to the next two bags. Fun fact, I'm not really a fruit person. I'm more of a vegetable person than I am fruit. So I try to incorporate more fruits into my diet. So that'll be a smoothie or occasionally I'll buy a mango. At most I'll only buy two mangoes because nine out of 10 times they'll go bad if I don't eat them right away. Um, but mangoes are my favorite fruit. Even though I don't eat fruit, mangoes are my favorite fruit. If I'm gonna eat anything, it's gonna be a mango. Oh my god, y'all, please look at the size of these avocados. Anyway, I got three avocados, they're huge as hell. I don't, I don't know, they're kind of already soft, so they're ripe. Those are gonna go right in the refrigerator so they don't go bad. This time I only got one cucumber because normally I get the Persian cucumbers in a bag and they go bad so quickly. So I'm gonna cut this up. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to make hummus. So I'll eat that with this and then salad. I also got a nectarine. So as you can see, I only get one of each fruit that I wanna try. I mean, I've tried all these fruits before, but I only get one of each just cause I know that I'm not much of a fruit person. So I'm more likely to eat one than I would be eating three. So here we are. This was stupid, but I only got one onion, so that's sad. I'm definitely gonna have to place another order or go to the store. I forgot I even got this, but I'm so excited because obviously I haven't opened this one up. But again, this is the Poppy Orange Prebiotic Soda. 
I like the cola. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the orange one. Cause I don't drink real life soda, which is why I got this uh, ginger ale. Well, I lied. I don't re drink real life soda, but I drink Canada Dry and Schwartz ginger ale. That's an exception. And that's on occasion. Um, but this girl. So all together, I've tried three of the poppies or I bought three of the poppies. Haven't tried this one yet. I've tried the cola and I've tried the Dr. Pop, which is like their version of Dr. Pepper. And that was really good too. So y'all need to give it a try. And next bag, I got this organic ketchup. I don't even use ketchup anymore. So I don't really know why I bought this, but it is good to have in case somebody else wants it. Or when I make my fries, maybe I'll dip this in there. But I'm a saucy person. So like I try to eat every other type of sauce besides ketchup. Um, but you know, we might need this. Okay, so this is rare for me. I normally don't buy juice, but every once in a while I be craving juice. So I bought two, not one, but two of the Agua Frescas by Santa Cruz. It's organic and the flavor is mango passion fruit. Here's the other one. Now I remember why I got those crackers and it's to go with this vegan Miyoko's Creamery farmhouse cheddar. Um, fun fact, also sad fact, there's a grocery store or I guess it's called the grocery outlet here in LA. I haven't been yet, but I've seen people post on TikTok about how you can buy a lot of vegan things for really cheap. This at Sprouts was $5.49. And the other day I saw this girl post that the same cheese, same size and everything is $1.99 at the grocery outlet, but they don't deliver. So I would have to go there. That's $4 cheaper than this thing. And I don't even know if I'm gonna like it cause I haven't had this before. I got some ginger, this goes in my smoothies and sometimes I make fresh ginger tea. Two red peppers. Why, why would they give me this small green pepper? Like, come on, how does it go from this this whatever so for like the 80th time in my life I'm gonna give oats a try this time I got quick oats so that way it don't take too long and I'm gonna pop these in the microwave can you microwave them hold up yes you just put water and milk salt and then put it in a medium sized microwavable bowl and microwave it so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to give this a shot with some frozen vegetables. Whoa, I didn't mean vegetables, I meant frozen fruit. And some peanut butter, cause I really wanna be that old girl. I, I do, I genuinely do. I wanna wake up in the morning and eat oats and love everything about it. But we'll see, this is literally gonna be like the 80th time that I've tried this in my life. And this is also another fan favorite. Um, you've seen this in my last video when I was making my little herbal coffee, but this is the Soap Dairy Free Almond Creamer. Guys, I literally have to get this big ass thing because I was drinking my herbal coffee every day, so I never wanna run out of this. Like I probably have this much left in my other bottle, but just knowing that this backup is here is great. Cause this isn't gonna expire until September of 2021. Okay, so I got like what five months? Four months. What month are we in June? <gasps> Damn, okay, that's around the corner. I mean, but obviously, I'm gonna finish that before then. So, yeah, Silk sponsor me, and every other brand that I mentioned, y'all need to sponsor me. I know I got two subscribers, but get into it. I guess I bought a red onion, so this is gonna go in my salads and. I bought, I finally bought regular vinegar and I'm considering, oh, I don't have sugar and I think you need to put sugar. Okay, either way, I think what I'm gonna do is try to make pickled onions, like in a jar, so that way I can just eat the, oh my God, pickled onions sound so good right now. But I need to look it up. I feel like it says to use sugar. Maybe I can use agave. I think I have agave to do that. All right, y'all, so. I saw this on TikTok. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is the Smooth Move Relieves Occasional Constipation. This might be TMI. I'm never, I don't, wouldn't say I'm constipated. I use the bathroom regularly, but I feel like this is gonna help me de-bloat. 
I would like to de -blow. I feel like there's some shit in there that needs to get out, okay? So, guys. I don't know how I forgot to show you guys this, but vegan chocolate chip cookies. These are so freaking good. If you have a Sprouts, go get these, okay? Because they're fire. We are on to the last bag, finally. Um, and aside from all the things that I showed you, I also got two cases of water that's over there. I'm not going to show you because it's not important. And I also got another bag of chips that I opened. It's just the regular kettle potato chip. I kind of already ate half the bag, but that's nobody's business. All right, so fun fact, I hate mayo. I've always hated mayo. So even like buying this like literally doesn't sit well with my spirit. But I do need it to make the tartar sauce. I do need it to make pastas or macaroni salads or what else would I use this on? Um, lightly, very, very lightly on a sandwich. Can't even tell that it's on there. Um, and I could use it to make any other sauce, like an aioli or something. So I got this big ass tub of it because also this doesn't go bad ever. February 2022, y'all. I got this for a while. They didn't have gluten-free bread, and I know I could use my toast for my burgers, like a burger bun, if I wanted an actual bun, so I got this. Maybe I'll even make my bologna sandwich on here. Make it feel like a real-life school lunch. I feel like they used to use burger buns for the deli sandwiches in like elementary school or in my line. Somebody let me know because I can't remember. It was so long ago. This next item may catch us all by surprise because like it's cereal, y'all. I don't even eat cereal anymore. Like I stopped eating cereal for a while. Like and on occasion I'll have some cereal but it's not something I keep on hand like I buy granola and then eat that as a cereal when I want like once a month or so if that either way I ate cereal so much when I was younger like no self-control because my parents always had every brand you can imagine that my brother and I liked so I feel childish eating cereal <laughs> Too grown for that just kidding so i decided to get like a grown-up version of cereal this is a cascadian prime organic cinnamon crunch actually that still sounds childish but whatever um so i'll let y'all know if i like this or not it's honestly probably gonna be in my cabinet for like three months and then it's gonna go in the trash but i don't like throwing food away so i'm gonna do my best to really eat this whole wall every day for breakfast just kidding, I eat better things for breakfast. This might be like a midday snack or something. I've never had this kind of marinara sauce, the Mezzetta marinara sauce. I tried Rouse for the first time like last month, but apparently it wasn't in stock at the Sprouts and I think I know why. It's because they were on sale for like $5 and I think they were originally like $8, but they had this in stock, so I got this and it's vegan. Yeah, I can eat everything in this. I don't even know what, oh, I guess I can use this for my, yeah, what am I saying? This is gonna be used for my ravioli. And I've been needing to make vegan mozzarella sticks, so I'll need this for some dipping. Ooh, would y'all like to see that on my channel, the vegan mozzarella sticks? They'll probably take like three seconds to make, but it's something, something to post. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I make that. Okay, last item I got. It's a bag of rusted potatoes. Um, there's so much I can do with these. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. I can make fries. But most importantly, what I've been looking forward to making since buying these potatoes earlier today is potato pancakes. I saw this on TikTok. Basically, you boil the potatoes. Ooh, maybe I'll make that on my channel or on my TikTok. You'll have to see, you'll have to follow me on TikTok to see if I post it on YouTube or on here. Anyway, you peel and cut your potatoes, you put them in the, the water to boil till they're fork tender, you mash them, you add flour, and then you form them into like a dough, and then you add cheese to the center, and then fry them into like little patties, and like bomb. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this massive grocery haul. 
I have a lot to put away. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll send this video to everybody you know and love. Anyone that's looking to buy vegan foods. Oh, my closet is open. Can you tell that it's a mess? Oh, that's embarrassing. Anyway, thank you all.